morning everyone March 20th Monday and I believe it's day 17 of the hike there's our short-term goal to get down to that wall on the dam and stealth camping is, is awesome nobody around you get the whole place to yourself and uh, it was just an enjoyable night so hopefully for hoping up for a good day today I think the weather's supposed to be decent until Tuesday if I'm not mistaken so we'll see what happens. Have a good Fontana Dam Visitor Center. They have a shuttle that runs from here into town, but also there's just some restrooms here and a vending machine, a boat launch for people going out on the water. I'm just going to uh, check this place out a little bit and then head up the trail another mile or so up to the Fontana Hilton. It's a uh, shelter that's got showers, free showers. So we'll hit that and then take a shuttle into town and then um, pick up some resupply from there. First big body of water I've walked around. This is Fontana Lake, I guess it is. I don't know. But <laughs> I came through that uh, that little visitor center expecting the dam to be there. So I was coming down the hill all morning and I could see it. I saw it last night. But the uh, I'm not sure where it is. So it looks like we're taking a tour around this lake here or something. Um, I didn't even look at the book, but I think it's probably within the next two miles, so I'll show that to you when I get there. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that. I've never been on a dam of that size in my life, so it should be fun. See you in a little bit. Finally coming up to the dam. It's amazing. And here's a sign. Um, look how low that water is. That's crazy. That's got to be 50 feet. I would guess below top level. Wow. Terrible. I'll show you some better shots from the uh, from the actual dam when I get out there. I'm gonna go check out the visitor center. Part of the mechanism of the dam. I guess that raises up and shuts the floor up or lowers down and shuts the water. I'm gonna reach out over the side here. Cause I can't see any further. That's scary. <laughs> so that was a waste of time. It says hikers, please leave your packs here. And everything is shut down below. They're supposed to have a snack uh, gift shop with snacks and all kinds of goodies, but uh, all closed down. So that was a waste of time and a walk. So we got to go back, back to the trail. And I'm coming up on the dam right now, so I'll show you a shot in a minute. From the dam. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. And I guess that's the hills that I'll be heading out to in this afternoon. Over the top of that peak over there is where I spent the night. Oh, this is cool. Woo! So I guess it is a hydroelectric plant. It doesn't look like it's very well maintained. Wow, that's huge. A lot of concrete went into this. Just deposited my Smoky Mountains permit. So you have to do you have to pay twenty bucks for a permit to be a through hiker for the Smoky Mountains. So this is the official beginning of the Smoky Mountains. Here we go. So here's a saga of Fontana. What happened is I got into town. Well that wasn't into town. I got into the shelter and expected to be able to make a phone call to call for a shuttle. So some maintenance workers asked them uh, if there was a shuttle into town. And they said, go up to the top of the hill. You should be able to get reception up there. About a half mile uphill. Got to the top. No reception. So I kept walking up this hill. Another hill with, that was actually the trail. And um, <clears throat> it was paved, so it was a road. So I figured maybe it'll come out somewhere. And it never did. And I never got any reception. So I got to the base of the Smokies and um, 
I have just enough food to get me to probably to Gatlinburg. Um, and uh, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but not bad. I've got a good solid three days of food, and I should be able to make it there, no problem. It's about 30 miles, so it should not be an issue. But I was hoping to have a little backup in reserve. So if you're ever hiking through Fontana and you have AT&T, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, there was a, right at the boathouse, when I first got in, this, the visitor center, there was a payphone on the wall down there. But I knew that the uh, shelter was up ahead and it's supposed to be this nice shelter, but don't take any chances. Use that payphone if you want to shuttle into town if you need a ride. So that's the scoop of Fontana. Stopped for some water and I met a couple of folks I thought you'd all like to see. If you want to say hi. Say hi. Hi. And do you want to tell them how old you are? Five. Five years old. He just turned five and show them that tag. There we go. You know what that means. He's a through hiker. So I'm presuming mom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to anybody? Um, say hi to daddy. Hi, hi daddy. Say we miss you. Oh, that's and nice. And mommy and papa. We miss you, dad. <laughs> Very All nice. Right, Maybe he'll come out and visit sometime. Yeah. What, what's your train name? Littlefoot. Littlefoot. Little okay. All and right. yours? Mama Bear. All right. That's appropriate. All right. <laughs> All, All right. Take right. care. Say bye. First shelter that I have to stay at in the Smokies. In the Smokies, they require that you stay in a shelter if there's space available. And so this one actually has a fireplace. You can see the chimney. And a tarp to stop some of the wind. The fire's not going yet, but we'll get it going later. So hopefully it'll be a little more comfortable tonight.